continuing off in our playoff bracket, we have, you know, the Wizards and the Pacers. It's it went to, I want to say the Wizards. Am I correct, Isaiah? 114 to 117, and the Wizards take the eighth seed in the playoffs. I think this was like their wake up call after somebody dropping 50 points on you. So I think, you know, the Warriors, no, no, not the Warriors, the Wizards <laughs> did what they had to do, put down the. It's been a long beat. night, folks. <laughs> yep. They put down the beat down on the paces and took care of business. But Isaiah, your thoughts of this game for the Washington Wizards with Russell Wilson. Not Russell Wilson. Wow. Wow, I am sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Russell R- Westbrook. <laughs> is that a foreshadow, Trev- Trevor? Is that, a for- is that a foreshadow that Russell Wilson's going to end up in Washington with the Washington football team instead of the uh, the team, the basketball team in DC? I, I, I don't. I don't. I think I'm. A, I'm already at a bad night. I think I'm like oh for two on names. It feels like man. I'm. I'm just digging a grave at this point. But yeah. Isaiah, I'll, I'll just let you I'll let you go there. I, I have no other no other comments to add. Man, don't worry about it, Trevor. We've all had bad nights, but let me say this. First of all, my thoughts on this game is that. Nate Bjorkren is gone. Nate Bjorkren, start packing your bags. Start cleaning your office because you're not going to be the Indiana Pacers coach come Monday. You're gone. You are gone, Nate Bjorkren. You're, you're absolutely gone. This guy, Nate Bjorkren, coming into this postseason, you know, there were stories saying like Nate Bjorkren, the Pacers coach, he was acting like a dictator. It was either his way or the highway. And also there was another report that came out that said he was very hard to work alongside and his assistant coaches were quitting because they just couldn't work with him. You know, there was a lot of red flags around this guy and his – His status with the Pacers was already waning, and I think that the Wizards put the nail in the coffin. And I think that Nate Bjorkman, he will be relieved of his head coaching duties on Monday. He will not be the next head coach. He will not be the head coach of the Pacers moving forward. This game cemented it. I mean, this was – I know the Pacers players played really bad, but Nate Bjorkman, why would you not call timeout when – when the Wizards were going on that 16-0 run, why would you not? Why would you wait until it was a 16-0 run and then call timeout? It makes no sense whatsoever. I get letting your players play, but there's letting your players play, and then there's being foolish. You don't wait until a, the game has gone from, I believe it was like a five-point Wizards lead to a 21-point Wizards lead. You don't do that. You. This is why Greg Popovich, Steve Kerr, Frank Bogle, they're such great coaches. It's because these guys, whenever whenever a, the opposing team makes a run and they sense that the opposing team has all the momentum, they will quickly call timeout and stop the opposing team's momentum and it kills their momentum. Nate Bjorkman didn't do it. He waited until the Wizards' run was 16 16- to nothing, which basically put the game out of reach for the uh, Indiana Pacers, and it was a stupid move by him, and the Pacers, they just looked very unprepared. Uh, The Wizards are number one in the NBA in terms of playing with tempo. Well, guess what? Instead of trying to slow things down, the Indiana Pacers decided to play the tempo game along with the Washington Wizards. It was just a nightmare night for Nate Bjorkren and his coaching staff. They looked unprepared. They made foolish foolish coaching decisions after foolish coaching decisions. And I think Nate Bjorkren will be gone by Monday. And as far as the Washington Wizards are concerned, heck, the 76ers, they should be scared. They should be scared of Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal because this Wizards team had a 0.9% chance in mid-April of making the playoffs and they have gone on a red, red hot streak and now they are into the playoffs. They are playing with house money. They're playing with nothing to lose and Wiz- and Beal and Westbrook look like that they have really 
uh, the chemistry has really bonded. And I think that the Wizards, I'm not saying the Wizards are going to win that series and pull off that 8-1 upset. But I do believe that the Wizards could give the Sixers a run for the money in this series and make every game close.